Hi, Bill White from Prize Wealth Management here with a video summary of Prize's five favorite reads of the week. We open up this week with Achieve More in Life and Feel Good About the Results. It's about knowing your values, aligning your goals with your values, and some steps that can help you to develop an, act, an action plan, know what to measure, what you're measuring, and how to mo motivate yourself to do it, and also being resilient. On to this week's articles. First article this week, more investors are looking at HSAs as a way to save for retirement. Regular readers of this blog know that I regularly share articles talking about HSAs and the tax benefits that they provide and how good a retirement savings vehicle an HSA can be. I even have a blog that I published called HSAs, a triple tax retirement benefit. It's good to see that others are starting to come to realize the value that an HSA can provide. Our second article, Six Ways Kindness is Good for You. We perform acts of kindness and charity. It helps others, but it can also help, our, help us. Our third article, Four Ways to Tell Your Kids the Truth About Your Retirement Savings. Talking about finances, especially with family, can be very difficult, but transparency does have its benefits. This article shares some ways to get that conversation going and also suggests that having this conversation might even be better for you than it is for your kids. Number four, my mom has seven rules to be happy and successful as you age. Number one is your 20s are mostly practice. I hadn't heard these rules before, but after reading them and thinking about the progression of my life and those that I know, I think that they make a lot of sense. There's some pretty good rules and they do help. They can help. You follow these, won't be till your 80s that you're even thinking about feeling old. And last, our fifth article, the discount that some colleges won't publish. When you apply for college, it's a lot like when you do other shopping. There's a sticker price, and then there's a the price that you actually pay. There's data available that can tell you how much it might actually cost you to go to a school. Fortunately, some colleges don't publish it. Read the article to find out what this data set is and learn a little bit more about it. Hope you find this week's articles helpful. I'll be back again with another blog next week. Have a great day.